I'm Elizabeth Ingram, Content with Director with Clarion Energy, and I'm here at Distributed Tech International 2020 with Patty Duran. Patty is the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Smart Energy Consumer Collaborative. Thanks for joining me, Patty. My pleasure. So, SECC produces quite a bit of research on the smart grid. Mm -hmm. What's some of your most recent products? We've done several studies in the last quarter on what consumers want and need to know about DERs, distributed energy resources. We also did one on alternative rates, and our latest one is on the 2020 State of the Consumer Report, which tracks trends across the industry around energy and technology in terms of what consumers know and want mm -hmm. around that topic. Okay, great. So what were some key themes about consumers and energy that came out of that research? Some of the really interesting themes include that consumers are more ready than ever to engage around energy. And when I first started 10 years ago, there was a lot of thinking that consumers don't really care about energy, they just want to flip a switch and have cold beer. But actually, that is not borne out by the research, nor is that seen in the industry itself when it comes to consumers buying things, the amount of billions spent on smart thermostats, on home energy management systems, on electric vehicles, on rooftop solar, on all those technologies, that shows that consumers care a lot and our research shows that too. And you can look at any metric and see that consumers are really ready to be engaged. That's one key theme. Mm -hmm. Another one is that consumers self-report very low awareness or educational uh, feeling of educational knowledge around most anything we ask. If we ask consumers, do you feel comfortable with your knowledge about energy efficiency? They'll say no. Are you comfortable about rooftop solar? No. Do you know what you wish you knew about electric vehicles? No, I don't. What about alternative rates? No. So the lift and the need for education is very high. Consumers want to know more, and so that is one area of importance that the industry needs to step into. And we do a lot on education too, mm -hmm. but I think everyone needs to help carry the water. Mm -hmm. So what do you think energy stakeholders don't know about consumers that they need to know? Well, we always urge segmentation because consumer attitudes around energy are not a monolith. You may care about technology, I may care about saving money, they might care about the environment, someone else might not care at all. And it is a common mistake that people make to think that their views can be extrapolated to be everyone's views, and that's just not the case. There are clear sets of values and attitudes that people have that differ from each other. So um, I would say that to answer your question, stakeholders need to know that consumers have all kinds of values, and so segmenting consumers into different sets or groups, or what we call segments, of values is important so that then those segments can be marketed to along the areas they care about and programs and services can be created that meet their values. Mm -hmm. And as long as it lines up with what the utility needs or what the community has asked the utility to deliver, then there's a lot of value there for engagement that is not happening right now. Okay. That's Good. one key thing that our study shows. Mm -hmm. Great. So SECC chaired a session at Distributec called Delivering New Value for Customer Service. What were some lessons learned there? Um, new value for customer service includes things like making engagement barrier free and consolidating different business units in a utility to the call center so that if someone calls in, say, for a high bill complaint or um, a connection or any, anything at all, um, that customer service rep knows enough about the consumer that he or she can then offer that consumer an alternative rate plan that maybe fits their usage better, or a new, a neat, um, a neat smart thermostat that can be automated to a demand response program the utility has, or maybe a lighting buy down, buy buy down kit or um, rebates for, you know, advanced lighting like LED bulbs, whatever it is. Um, that's one of the new areas of service that the energy community is adopting to help consumers. And there's a lot of difference between millennials and other generations and Gen Z. Mm -hmm. You know, our research shows that they care a lot more about the environment than older generations do, and they care a lot more about technology than older generations do. So 
Another big change that stakeholders need to track is how those attitudes and values differ because if they're not tracking that, then that's a risk for them. I bet that's a challenge for sure. Yes, yeah. with just changing attitudes, changing perceptions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we do our we do what we call a benchmark, a segmentation framework. We call it our consumer pulse in segmentation study. You know, we're taking the pulse of the consumer. We do it almost every year because we don't want to lose track of that ourselves. That changes are happening so rapidly that if we wait even three years, we're probably not valid anymore. I'll bet. Well, so. thanks so much. That's really interesting information. My pleasure, yeah. Thanks. I'm Elizabeth Ingram, and we're at Distributech International 2020.